Welcome back to State of the Nation. So much is unfolding in the power sector. The Senate wants a possible separation of power from the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, arguing that the separation of power will bring about better service delivery. Let's get a better perspective on this. Barista Sunday Odunto is the Executive Director of Research and Advocacy Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors. That's Anand. He joins me now. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the show at this time. First, the Senate wants to separate power and make it a standalone ministry. What do you make of that? <laughs> That's very interesting. Interesting because we need to be very fair to the current Honorable Minister for Power, Works and Housing. Number one, we need to recognize the fact that... Why should we be fair to him? Yes. The man is very hardworking. He means well. The problem with the sector is not about the combining of that ministry with other ministries. It's not about it being too much for the man. The truth of the matter, actually, is that to date, he's still one of the best that we've ever had in that ministry. What we need to understand is, one, the power ministry has always been difficult. And that difficulty is more about the fact that you cannot correct the adversities of the power sector without the requisite support and resources. You cannot expect him to come up with any magic. He's not a magician. And he's still one of the best. Is the strategy we, we, working? We, we, though, we because, do uh, disagree with what, him sometimes. Is the strategy but working? Man, because, my apologies, is yes. his strategy working? Because at the end of the day, people just want to have more electricity. Do you think exactly. people are having more electricity today? Well, number one, you can try and make your own check. The situation has improved now than it was a few years ago. But that's not to say that we're there. We are not there at all. And the fact that we're not there is not, it's not down to the minister as a person. It is more to do with the system that we are running. We are a very funny country. You cannot have a system whereby you have electricity and you fail to recognize that electricity is a product. And a product comes at a cost. You cannot be buying a product for 68 naira and you are only allowed by law to sell it for 31 naira, 58 kobo. And then you expect magic. There won't be metered. There won't be transformed. There won't be anything. There won't be light mm. unless and until we do the right thing. We cannot continue to point accusing fingers. And those who are trying to undermine the minister, for whatever reason, within their own system, I'm just telling them this, they need to put Nigeria first. I don't know that why guy I, I don't is know. doing very well. I, I don't know. I don't know. About. I, you may be holding yes. it for him, but I, I don't want I'm to go that way. I'm not holding it for him. But what, fact, what we know, with him a lot on what, a lot of things. What I know is that you represent the DISCO, of yes. course. Uh, the federal government has approved the 26 billion, uh, I stand to be corrected, 26 billion uh, naira for payments of MDA debts. Yes. Are you now liquid as now that we you're having not. those? First of all, because uh, people will expect all, that you have better performance now that you have 26 billion in me. your purse. We don't. We don't have that money in our purse. But let me start by saying this. That amount of money is a debt, and it's even part payment, the verified part payment. Some are still outstanding. But we thank the federal government for even approving that amount, 29 billion. But it will interest you to know that the Home Minister Minister himself on behalf of the federal government, told us clearly that the money is not coming to us. What they have done, in their own wisdom, is that they're using that money to pay our own creditors, MBET. And so, if you're talking about it, people should not think, oh, the digital are now very, they have money. Sorry, no money, nothing coming to us. That money is from government to government, to another government agency, MBET. Of course, we are in the market. That's, that, but that's, the bottom line is that we are in the market because we are buying a product as a state naira, and these same regulators or people in charge are forcing us to sell for 31 naira 58 kobo. And that's the point I'm making. And the minister is one of the few, few people who sympathize with this situation, but he can't do anything about it. We have a system that is very, very bad. But in all these, uh, uh, there are also calls for the reversal of the power sector of privatization. I do remember that this, the president of the Senate, Abu Kola Saraki, did mention that uh, perhaps that privatization was not well done and uh, a need to look at it again. This seems to be another topic that okay. is brewing for, um, for the, for the power sector. First of all, the privatization process itself, the Genshin companies and the discos, the investors invested $2.4 billion dollars. That's the total money invested in that system. If you invest that sort of money in any system, you will expect a sort of cost recovery along the line, expectation. Now, the bottom line is this. Those who are talking about reversal, for us, it's a distraction. Because I can assure you, if you bring an angel or a malika from heaven to come and invest in this sector, that angel will fail. 
because the basic things have not been done. What are the basic things? Number one, the last government, when they privatized, at the point of privatization, there was an agreement that they signed with the coming investors. The basic foundation, the basic thing, is the appropriate pricing of the product. So they promised them what they call cost reflective tariff, which simply means appropriate price of the product. If I'm buying it at 68 Naira, I shouldn't be selling it for anything less than that amount. It should be slightly more. But today, as I today, we're buying for 68 Naira and we're selling for 31 Naira, 58 Kobo. Is it being subsidized? No, not at all. That's the point I'm saying. So we are building a, a huge shortfall every day and nobody's talking about it. Uh, because I'm really curious, uh, are the discos constrained in the ability to, to um, take in more more power, yes, taking more power. That's another thing that we see people bandy around. But I've seen that we have a lot of funny people in this country. But figures don't lie. The TCN, which you know is the second in the layer, in the, in the value sheet, the that layer, the transmission company of Nigeria, which belongs to federal government 100%, they carried out a stress test in 2015. And the result of that stress test shows that the discourse as of now, have the capacity utilization of 6,288 megawatts. But you won't hear that from anybody in government, even the regulators. Mm. People are not talking about that. People will be talking about 4,500. Oh, the disco can only take a load of 4,000. How, how much can you take? 6,288 megawatts. That is their own figure. That is the result of the study that they carried out. Not even us doing it. So. The truth of the matter is that when people tell you about generation, you should ask them what is the energy sent out. Energy, not peak generation. No, we know what the generation. The generation is 7,001 megawatts uh, for the generation. That's out, my brother. Well, no, that's what's been generated. I'm telling you that. But you, the distributors, are the ones that are unable to no, pick all of this and push it out. True. I think you should organize a Clarify summit. Clarify it for me. I think you should organize a summit. Put all the stakeholders together. Put out life for Nigerians to see. Let's come with figures with statistics and let people see the truth. The truth of the matter is that if we have the capacity to generate a particular figure, say 7,000, how much is actually sent out by the, by the uh, generation company? What is the situation with the transmission? If the transmission has a lot of bottlenecks and constraints, and we've mentioned it a, a, many times, check between uh, Lagos West, Ayobek Paja to Abeokuta, go and check Ayede in Oyo State, Ibadan, to Shagamu, you see quite a lot of bottlenecks on the way to Kano, the same thing. The northern discos are not being served properly. They cannot get the, the allocated mito um, percentage of um, energy because the transition company in Nigeria cannot wield the power. Wait, let, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me come inside here because uh, the government wants to borrow about $5.5 .5 billion uh, to um, uh, help to finance the budget. And one of the areas they want to look at is also to push that into generation of power. Will that be a misplaced priority? Not really. But what they still need to do, you cannot tie up my legs and expect me to run. The only way you can solve the problem of this sector is for all stakeholders, you have to look at it globally. You cannot treat one and leave the other. That's, that's one. Then I have a suggestion, and this is my personal view. Mm. And I think until we go back to that, we cannot fix the power sector in this country unless we all sacrifice. I believe Nigeria has gotten to a point now that all of us, including myself, who are involved in the supply provision policy making for electricity in this country, they should ban us from using generator. Mm. The day the Minister of Power don't have generator in his house, and I don't have the Minister of Power, the Power Secretary, Minister let, of Power, let, let me take Nenko, the, Yeah, I, Nenka, I know about that, but let, let me take it very quickly on this one. You know, it's, 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 it, sounds, it sounds like a paradox to me whenever I hear that yes. discos rejects load. Is that normal? You see, that's part of the misinformation that we have. I will tell you what it is. Number one, we are a business. I've told you about the tariff, the fact that we are underselling the product by force. We are being forced to not to pass the actual cost to the end user. In addition to that, TCN, they need to take my load where I require it. If you dump load in my backyard and I want it in the front of the house, mm. I have the right to say, sorry, I want my load in front of the house. You are only a transport. I'm if I buy my goods from the factory, I have the right to determine which of the warehouses where I sell my goods. That's part of it. The, and then they have no scatter. Ask them, 
it is shameful that today they use telephone. Hello, hello, hello. On to monitor the TCM facility, we need SCADA. Let me say hello to you, and that would be a good place to end it. Thank, thank you so much thank indeed, you. Barrister. Thank Sunday Oduto is the Executive Director, Research and Advocacy Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors, ANED. Many thanks indeed for talking to us, the State of the Nation. And I thank you too for being part of the show. Join us same time for another fresh edition. I'm Gimba Omar, and this is State of the Nation. <laughs>